Okay, recording now. Yep. Hello, folks. It's me again. While I'm figuring out what to do with Reketeer, I figure I'm going to show you guys something else that I was given by Mike. Although, actually, Mike and I were both referred to this game by a friend of ours from the Walthus Club called named uh, Joe Palmer. Thank you for telling us about this game, Joe. Sorry we couldn't have you on. All right, basically, we are a data salvage uh, specialist. And... The Magungwa. That sounds... Magungwa? That sounds, know, that that sounds Korean, don't it? Anyway, we're yeah. supposed to slice into this dead derelict ship and get whatever we can from the security AI mute. Alright. Asocial enough for you. Apparently our character, our faceless character is quite antisocial. In any case, yes, I've beaten this game already. Analog, I hate story. <laughs> the new sort of visual novelish game. Oh, here. I'm sorry. The Skype window is still up there in the corner. Okay. You didn't see that was there at all. Nope. Nope. <laughs> we at Arcadia Comms and Organized Chaos Land are not professionals. Alright, so we have found the Magungwa. Thank you, established. United Korea. Okay, apparently at some point in the distant future, China finally caved and let North Korea collapse. Because that's actually something they said back in the early 2000s. They would rather deal with a democratic unified Korea than an unstable North Korea. If they could find an excuse to abandon North Korea in the first place. Anyway. Look at that. Uh, last log in, Kim a. Junai. Junai, right. Uh, that's, I, a lot of, that's a lot of days. That's like 600 years or something. Quite. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. 19... What? Huh? Look at the date here. 1970. Um... I think it's reset to basic. Yeah, someone reset the calendar on this ship. In any case, we are not affiliated with the Unified Korea Space Probe Agency. <laughs> For all and we... as mentioned in the intro there, this is a lost colony ship from the early days. Yeah, this is from the... This is actually, this, this is actually from the early uh, 21st century, supposedly. Anyway... Uh, according to the, um, the year 2381, this is like the, the early half of that millennium century or whatever. Mm. Millennium. Yes. This would be the... 22nd century, I believe. Anyway, last login user... Uh, last login was Kim Yun I. I'm guessing she must have had admin privileges or something. AI mm. core per currently disabled. We have to go to command line. We cannot download the logs without super user access. I happen mm. to know the password and could cheat and screw the AI over, but that's not, that's not happening. Really? I, I, I don't think you can even do that from this point this early on. Oh, yeah, you, that's right. You do have to actually activate a core before you can do that. My mistake. Yeah, anyway, the, no, no. enough stalling. What? What? Why is mute disabled? Hmm. Maybe the last few that had something to do with that. No way. And furthermore, why does the AI core have the same name as the last known user. Hmm. I got no choice, though. I gotta wake this other AI up. Alright.
that's weird. Usually users are not registered as, AIs usually are not registered as users on the network. Actually, it doesn't matter, so I'm not even going to put my name in. Nope! Yeah, she's got no translating ability. Yeah, you're actually expected to put in, like, a reading, if not your own name. Yeah, there's some... Yeah, I would be using the mouse, but it's got this weird glitch with it that it sometimes double clicks when you single click, so... Mm -hmm. In the name of not skipping dialogue, I'm going to just use the enter key. Yeah, you're going to have to be careful and read that just in case you accidentally hit the wrong prompt. Right. And being mute is kind of okay, I guess. <laughs> Without language parsing, although you can actually do a search for a specific log entry if you know the batch code for it. That's actually important to get a secret ending. Yeah, which cannot be done within character knowledge, so yeah. Or unless if you're like some sort of goofy Hollywood playing some sort of a goofy Hollywood hacker. Like, oh, I'll just type this little da this parse entry in. Holy crap, what I find? Yeah. Ah, sure, you seem so oh. Very advanced AI. Loneliness. All right. I see. Okay. All right. Helpful notes. These are not really all that useful. I mean, just, they're just here for. Oh! What's this? Well, it worked. So, yeah, you can show them what you're looking at with the button on the left, and they talk to you directly with the one on the bottom right there. Preaching possible gender inequality, excuse me, while I go fire my shotgun into the open night sky. Yeah! <laughs> Do not click the right if you are not in a hole. That said, there is an achievement for pissing this girl off. Mm hmm I have not gotten it because I am not a jerk queen. I got it by accident later on when I didn't mean to do something and I thought, oh, all of a sudden she's mad at me. And then she kicked, <laughs> then she kicked me out. Yeah, she actually, if you piss her off enough, she will throw you out of the network. No, 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 I'm... I get that... Oh. I get that they probably don't have, like, the women's names on here, but... The fooge is that? 
somebody with a title or some kind of importance maybe. in the beginning of Space Korea. Basically, yes. Hmm. Alright, block four. I don't know which one it's supposed to be. Oh. No, you, you, you can't show it that one, I just remember. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. The mouse does that. You don't have to go out to the thing to read the red page. Well, I'm just still there. I'm making sure because, again, this will go click, click. This way it can't go click, click. Mm -hmm. Face spoiler that is mute. We will be seeing her later. Yes, contempt. Oh, where is this? Never mind. Occasionally, the music will just automatically change when you switch entries. Yeah, depending on what it's about or who you talk, who you're looking at with. So look at the, um, the calendar, it says... Yep. Like I said before, I think they reset the calendar for some reason. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, 
Here comes the fall! Comic justice! <laughs> actually, that that's written like a couple of months before it actually happened, so... Adopted son. Blood was everything in ancient societies, like what this is apparently modeled after, so... An adopted child? Kinda mm. like a red-headed stepchild, basically. Kids got cojones, I'll give him that. I'll be the judge of that, hon. Oh. Okay, so it wasn't quite as backwards as I thought it might be. I still gave them indulgences. I mean, I was thinking that they were just basically, the wives were just basically dumb little automatons, but this guy lets his wife read over his shoulder.
fifty. What? Fifty. What? Wife at fifteen. No. Technically speaking, that is biologically speaking an ideal age zone for producing children. But in our society today, that's kind of oh hey Seda, that's kind of uh, frowned upon. Hmm. Ah, music skip. Plaza. Uh, yeah, she is. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, I'm not sure what she's getting at here. Yeah, I didn't pick. I didn't pick up on it first two. Misogynistic society, there's still a uh, potential for heartwarming moments. Absolutely. Yes, please. Hmm. We must collect all the data. Alright, that's the end of that block, apparently. No, it isn't. For now, it is. Yeah. Okay, that will be useful. That will be useful. Technical difficulties, folks. I'll be 
right back. Continuing. And we're back. Apparently my net hiccuped. Anyway. Where was I? At the beginning of the marital admonitions. For Miri Jiwa. Uh, seven. Yes, uh, the rest of it wasn't unlocked for some reason. Anyway, for some reason, the Emperor decided to change his admin password to the ship to the Pale Bride's birth name. Hmm. Not sure that's a smart move, you know? Okay, that's getting a little annoying. Yeah. Anyway, this is not a good idea. But what, what is it? Uh, the capacity to change the admin password to the Pale Bride's birth name. This is... <clears throat> I don't see this being a good idea. You know? Hey. Um, yeah. Lonely girl, huh? Was she asleep the whole time, or has she been away? I don't know. Year 322 by your count. 640... You know, 622 years. Yeah, exactly. She really much read everything out if she doesn't have to. You can turn yourself off, standby mode or something. gonna drop out again like in two seconds. Alright. No, I didn't. I want to know about this pale bride. Also, um, sometimes those will be repeatable, so you'll just um, initiate the same conversation and you can pick the other option and you might get more blocks. Yeah, you can actually, so these aren't like one time things where you have to choose between two options. Some of them are repeatable, and you can get more out of that. Well, we're nearing the 30 minutes, which is my cutoff for videos, so we're going to mm, save our right, yeah. progress. And Mike, I think you probably need to get some sleep now that I think of it. Yeah, it's quarter past five in the morning. Yeah. Okay, guys, I will get this up very shortly and I will see you guys next time for part two of Analog I Hate Story. Say goodbye Mike. Thank you guys.